pitching mechanics and pitching grips. So, fastball. The fastball, the four-seam fastball to be specific, is right here. Why we call it a four-seam fastball is there are four seams on the baseball when they're rotating through. So when we throw the four-seam fastball, it's right here and making sure that we get the backward rotation on the baseball. For the younger guys, the guys with smaller hands, oftentimes they want, they're going to have to do the three-finger fastball, three-finger four-seam. What we do with the three-finger four-seam is make sure that you're, when you're releasing the baseball, you're not holding a different grip because then we're going to start doing having a two-seam with a change-up. So if, you have a, if, you're, if you're a younger guy and you have smaller hands, three fingers, no problem. But just make sure we're going right across that four seam grip to make sure we get that backward rotation. So, let's carry on to two seam, two seam mechanic. So, our two seam is on these seams of the baseball. It either be right here or right here. Now, why this is called two seam? Is there two seams? Here we go, one, two, when the ball is rotating. One, two, as opposed to the four seam, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The two seam, I'm a righty pitcher, what the two seam does is it has a little bit of tail. The reason that the way that the seams are cutting through the air, it allows the ball to tail out. Oftentimes, if people will put pressure points, what we can do to get a little more bite this way is put our pressure point right here so we fight down through and the ball falls down through this way. What we want to do is make sure that we're on top of the baseball at all times. What often happens is if you get your wrist up and you follow through, then we're not going to have a nice strong backwards rotation pitch. Let's move into the changeup. So with the changeup, what we want to do is there's a couple different variations. I like the three finger or the circle change. I prefer, I prefer the circle. For the three finger, the standard changeup is we'll get the horse through the baseball, we'll have our, our middle finger in the middle here and our two fingers on the side. And what we want to do is make sure that we get on top of the baseball and follow right down through. With the circle change, what we're doing, and I want to spend a little more time on this, is the two, our two middle fingers here are on, our, are on the two seam. Now those two fingers are on the two seam, our, our pinky is off to the side, and our circle, we make the circle right here. So, as you can see on all cylinders of the baseball, we're here, we're on the two seam. So there's two seams there. These two middle fingers are there. We create a six-like form here. And that's how we get the rotation on the baseball. The two seam, I mean, sorry, the two seam change up, so the circle change, we want to spin like this. And the way we get that is allow, blocking off this side of the baseball and forcing the ball to come out of this side. So when we release this pitch, we are in theory releasing out of this side of our hand. That's why we block off this side with the circle change. It's a lot more effective, it has a lot more bite to it, a lot more fade if we have that side blocked off. And what we want to do is oftentimes what we can do is as your hands get bigger and as you get stronger as a pitcher is move this up to the top of the horseshoe. So we have the top of the horseshoe here and we want to be on each line. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're again, we're at six here, and we're circling it up that way. So when we come out here, the circle change here, we rotate down this way. When you start going up onto the top of the horseshoe, that's how you have that downward bite. And the downward bite is what's extremely crucial in a successful changeup. Having a good changeup is great when you throw it hard. That's a whole theory. We talked about the four seam fastball. Make sure that we are throwing our changeup or any other pitches that we throw with authority. It's got to be thrown hard, it's got to be thrown accurate. And remember what we say about being a successful pitcher it's all about consistency. So do not change your mechanics because any good hitter can tell. Make sure that you're throwing your changeup just like your fastball. What I want to talk about now is the cutter. For the younger guys, this is a pitch that we can change to as opposed to throwing a big loopy curveball to get about four, six inches of break, nice downward cut. I'm a righty, so it's gonna cut away to the righty, to a righty hitter. What we wanna do with the cutter is go back to our two seam grip and put our fingers on the right side of the baseball. 
So what we're doing, so again, it looks like that. Here's the two seams. My fingers go here, and I'm this way. All of my pressure is on my middle finger. This, press, this finger here has almost no pressure at all and no, no squeeze. No, you want to be tight with this finger. And what we focus on is pulling down through. What's extremely crucial with this pitch is making sure we follow through. As opposed to the changeup, our chest is coming down through and the ball dies out like that. With the cutter, it's the exact same thing. When we follow through with that baseball, we are cutting the baseball. The cutter is just a cut fastball. Like I said before, everything works off our fastball. So when we're down here, we cut, cut the baseball. Again, we're not looking for spin like this. It's not a big loopy curveball. We're having a tight breaking cutter. So when we're here, we snap it down. It's not a snap of the wrist. We're not straining our elbow. We're not trying to make it loopy. We're literally holding this grip and throwing a hard fastball through the zone. Those are the pitches we're going to work on today. Our four seam fastball right here. Our two seam fastball, which is either here or here. Our change up, which is for the younger guys would be a simple three finger. And for my guys that are a little more advanced and higher levels at the younger age, we're either having these two fingers on these two lines or on these two. And we're making sure that we have our, our circle here that blocks off this side of the baseball so the ball comes out of this side of our hand. And that's the way we're going to get this sideways rotation and allow the ball to die out. And when lastly, our cutter. When we throw the cutter, we have a two-seam grip, put our pointer finger attached to our middle, put all the pressure on our middle, and pull right down through. Remember when you're executing pitches that everything has to look like your fastball. Great hitters tell the difference between pitcher's mechanics when they go to throw a different pitch. We all know what it looks like when that pitcher gets on the mound and flutters a change up in there. What we have to do is focus on throwing our mechanics. And when we talk about mechanics, you can go back to our pitching video, our pitching mechanics or our throwing video to understand what I mean about being consistent with our mechanics. But what we want to do with our pitches is get what's comfortable to you. If it's more comfortable to you to lift it up a little higher, then do so. There's no one way to do anything in pitching. It's all about what's comfortable to you and what allows you to be consistent. So, again, as a quick recap, fastball, two seam, change up, and cut. All right, guys, have a great day. My name is Anthony Ricciardi, this is Top Pitcher Baseball.